night. Learn basic filmmaking from a Hollywood teacher and find out which video camera is the right one for you. Plus, go from a newbie shooter to a pro in minutes. From the Tech TV studios in San Francisco, it's the Screen Savers. Welcome to a special edition of The Screen Saver. I'm Leo Laporte. And I'm Patrick Norton. We are so happy you could be with us today. We're bringing you an amazing, amazing show, the Personal Home Video Crash Course. Yes, on this show, we will take you on a journey from beginning to end. Everything you need to know. Like to get shooting video? Everything you need to know. Editing video? Everything you need to know. He seems to have it all down. <laughs> the, the holidays here, you can definitely want to start capturing the family memories so you can relive them over and, and over, over and, and over. over. And over. But, but where do you start? Well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. So, over the next hour, we're going to look at the high and low end video cameras. Mm -hmm. We are going to give you our recommendations, of course, and try to make your purchase a little bit easier. And there's no need to make the family, you know, nauseous, a little stick to the stomach with your unsteady camera shots and terribly unprofessional moves. We're going to show you all the technique you need to shoot yeah. great video. Yeah, and, and, and what to do once you got your shots. We're going to talk to one of the top teachers. This is, you're going to do this. It's going to be fun. It's good. In Hollywood. His name is Dov, what is it, Dov Siemens? Dov Siemens. Dov Siemens. Siemens. Amazing guy. He's going to show you how to shop around your homemade Hollywood movie and become a big star. It's cool stuff. Sit back, relax. You know, because over the next hour, we're going to help you begin an amazing journey to becoming a digital video god. 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 Or, or goddess. Or goddess. Yeah. It's all ahead on this special home video crash course edition of The Screen Savers. The Screen Savers is presented by Gateway, a better way. Well, I think you look great. This year, the holidays are Gateway, so give the box. Inside, find the season's hottest gifts. For a limited time, get a free Gateway 5 megapixel digital camera with the purchase of select PCs, like our M675, which features an Intel Pentium 4 processor with HT technology. It makes sharing digital pics easy. We also have great desktops starting under $500. So hurry in, give the box. I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra life. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible. Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1 800 Ditech 1. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. Every day is a little different. You push your limits far enough, you find out you don't have any. Japan Hoffman by the U.S. Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at GoArmy.com. We needed them. They answered the call. Call of Duty. Rated T for T. I'm Chris Leary. And I'm Stephanie C. Miller. Fresh Gear is your first look at the technology of tomorrow. It's got a two and a half inch color LCD. How cool is that? Every week, you'll see the most innovative new products. Now, there's only two of these babies in the country. With that in mind, we want to take you for a ride. Outrageous machine. I was looking at it, I go, what the? and our picks for great gadgets. There are over 500 titles for this little guy. See today's hot new gear. Watch Fresh Gear tonight at 8.30, 7.30 Central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back to 
the screensavers, this is the place to be for your very own home video crash course. Our first guest, Duff Siemens, has taught Quentin Tarantino, Guy Ritchie, just to name a couple, you know, a little name drop in yeah, there. Yeah. And the creators of my big fat Greek wedding have taken his courses. He gave me some great tips and tricks on basically how to plan and make your own low-budget film. Check this out. Do you want to make a movie? Dove Simmons says he can teach you how it really works, how you can get one made in a two-day seminar, a 418-page book, or an 18 minutes reading on his website. Quentin Tarantino, Guy Ritchie, Will Smith say Dove knows his stuff. The folks that made my big fat Greek wedding and barbershop, they took his courses. Dove founded the Hollywood Film Institute and has just authored From Real to Deal, everything you need to create a successful independent film. Welcome to the Screensavers, Dove. And thank you, Screensavers and Patrick, for having me. Let's get in there and make a movie. What makes your, your courses so successful? I just get rid of all the theory, all this flake stuff. I just cut right to the chase. When you make a feature film, from beginning to end, you're going to write 38 bank checks. You're an adult. I can't teach talent. Nobody can. And I'll <laughs> teach you the 38 bank checks. Film, lab, camera, sound, light, grip, dolly, permit. I do it in one day, and it takes about 10 minutes each. I'll teach how to buy film. All you screensavers, you're thinking about making a film. Do you even know how to buy film? And by the way, you're going to probably be shooting tape digital, so I'll teach you how to buy tape. But don't pay retail. Makes sense. How'd you get into teaching? How'd you learn all this stuff? Well, I didn't plan to be a teacher. I wanted to be a producer. I wanted to be a director. About 20 years ago, I came to Hollywood. And after taking a couple of classes at UCLA, I learned the buzz phrases. I chased the deal. I went to the studios, went to the agents, and nothing happened, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Then I went to my little checkbook. I wrote the checks, bought film, got a lab deal, got a camera, got some actors, and made my first 35 millimeter feature film, 90 minutes. And guess what? It stunk. It was horrible. <laughs> but you finished it, right? I did it. That was the thing, the school of hard knocks. But what happened from that, I did it so cheaply, I got a job for a guy, Roger Corman. I've heard that he's, name. <laughs> oh, he's nicknamed the king of the bees. He <laughs> makes 10 to 40 feature films a year, all of them with the word blood, zombie, slime, nightmare, fatal, final, instinct, part six or part seven. It's good stuff. Somewhere, it's it's movies, it's business. <laughs> it's business. It's not art. It's a business. I'm not going to argue and, that. Well, how and I mean, we, I'm wait, sorry. Let me just go a little bit. Don't be sorry. Hi. And we make them, we call them, Roger calls them actually, million dollar features. I'm the guy, the line producer. I wrote the checks while making them. I never spent more than 180000 That's the first thing I found out about Hollywood. We lie. We make a million dollar feature films for $180,000 in cash. <laughs> and here are the 38 checks. So I did this for Roger for a while. Mm -hmm. And then as a part time, somebody at UCLA asked me, would I like to be on a panel? I sat on a panel on how to get high quality out of no budget, mm -hmm. and the, ins the head of the school was there, and I only talked for 15 minutes, but they said, you know, sir, you're very clear and lucid, which I don't even understand what the word lucid meant, but he said, would you like to give a full class at UCLA? Wow, I went, be a UCLA teacher? Me, a dummy? Yeah, I'd love to. So they get let me do a two-day class, this one. Mm -hmm. They charged $200, they got about 250 people, they grossed 50,000, and guess what? They paid me $250 to yeah. be a UCLA teacher. Something's Something wrong went here. like this. Right. Yeah. And then I just started entrepreneuring. I created the Hollywood Film School, mm -hmm. and I just went to cities and put on this two-day film school crash course for adults. I can't teach art. I can't teach talent. Screensavers, you all out there think you have talent. Okay, let's make a film. So Here's how to write the checks. 38 checks to write. You know, DV, people are using DV now. They're using tape, as you call it. People are editing at home. Is that going to reduce the number of checks, or are you saying it do the professional way? No. If all you, and the truth is, screensavers, you don't have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 to make a 35 millimeter three week shoot feature. You don't even have 80,000 to 200,000 to do a 16 millimeter one or two week film feature. You guys out there have 1,000 to about $50,000, and I doubt 50,000. So what you're going to do is shoot tape, but you're going to call it digital. It's digital video, but it's mini DV. Mm -hmm. You're going to use one of those three chip cameras that they make at Canon, Sony, Panasonic. Sonic JVC, and you're going to get tape, and the checks really, it's maybe six or seven checks. You get the right. camera, you get the tape, get somebody with some lights, you still got to do key back and fill lighting, and the big Achilles heel is not the camera, it's going to be the microphones. 
Really? So you got to be able to hear it. The problem with most first-time no-budget digital filmmakers is they use those inexpensive rotten microphones that come with those excellent inexpensive cameras. Don't use the mics. And as you asked, Patrick, it's only six or seven checks then. Oh, that will help. So what do I do? So I've, I've, I capture the video, I buy an extra microphone, I learn something about sound, I hire a sound person, I've got my lights, I shoot my video, I edit it. Where do I go to? So let's get something that you can definitely handle, which is basically the dressed up courtroom drama stage play. Mm -hmm. When I teach my class, I say that keep it simple. And all instructors say your first project, keep it simple. But then I explain what it is. Watch. Here's a studio. Foreman, 90 pages. Script. We say that one page of script typed properly is one minute of running time. A movie or video should be 90 minutes long. And here's what we say. When you don't know what to do, here's the drama. Take 12 kids to a house and chop them up. Now, screensavers, I'm not saying do a slasher, but keep it simple. Keep it simple. 90-page courtroom drama, Kevin Smith clerks, a video store, Blair Witch Project, three kids, one tent, two acres, a big Hollywood studio feature, phone booth. Figure that one out. It's a scam Hollywood film. Keep it simple. But your question was, what do you do with it? You take it after it's done, keep it in the digital format, go to festivals. Mm -hmm. All festivals now, you don't have to transfer to film right now. The distributor, when they pick it up, will pay for the transfer cost. All the excellent festivals, Sundance, Toronto, Telluride, New York, Tribeca, have an excellent, super powerful 7,000 lumen projector, so it'll fill an entire screen in a big theater. So yes, you finish your product, start some marketing to the distributors. There are mm -hmm. about 20 distributors in North America. Each one loves independent filmmakers like you people out there in screensavers land. You know why they love you people? You know why they love independent filmmakers? We're cheap. Because you don't cost us a penny. <laughs> Not cheap, free. We don't spend anything. You're free. Isn't that a simple concept? And we don't have to gamble. Look what happens when we get a script and make it. Nine out of 10 times we make caca. But with you guys, we get to see the final product. For free. And you're free. We don't have to gamble. And here's what else we love about you. When you're done, you're broke. <laughs> Makes it Try easy to, to make a good deal with, with me. Online resources, we got to scoot. Ton of info on your website. I love the 18-minute film school. What else should people be looking for online in terms of learning how to make the films? Well, resources, of course. I'm very proud of the portal and the website I put up there. For film education, web filmschool.com, webfilmschool.com. Then, bookstore, I'll give you everything. It's a great website, Dub. We thank, thank you, you for your time. Oh, man, he's great, isn't he? He is. I'm actually going to run out, get some black sunglasses, and you may refer to me as Hollywood from here on out. Oh, man, you're not going to get a riding crop I'm in a going. director's chair, are you? It's a little 20s, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a good thing. Old school. Anyhow, you got the gyps to start your film. You can't go much further, of course, without a video camera. Gotta have a video camera Gotta coming up next. Video. See what video camera is right for your project when our Tech TV Labs put them to the test. We'll be right back. Stay here. It really makes a difference. I think it does in, in video. I mean, you're not going to be able to see. What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you. Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial. Hey, that was nice, right? Now you gotta get it. Come on. Where are you going? Give me that. Come on, Ray. Come on. Oh, G. What you got? Oh, what you got? Oh! Uh, hey, you can't handle this, GP. Yeah, Ray. Whatever. <laughs> NBA Shootout 2004 lets you play online with other Hoops fans no matter where they are. Ready to eat for everyone. Tech TV Tuesday. Explore the cutting edge of cool stuff. Starting at 8.30, check out today's breakthrough new products on Fresh Gear. And a nice little voice. Turn right. 
tells me where to go. Then, meet ordinary people with extraordinary ideas on Invent This. This is the McLean wheel, and that's after my name. Followed by international crime and surveillance on Spy School. Innovations, inventors, and espionage. You'll see it all tonight starting at 8.30 Eastern on Tech TV. It's the last days of shopping and you don't have a thing. You waited too long to start. The Radio Shack sales happening right now. It's right around the block. Hey, procrastinators. Now get a Game Boy Advance SP value pack for just $109.99 after mail and rebate. And on all LeapFrog educational toys, including our exclusive value packs. Shop the Shack. Yeah. You'll save big. The procrastinators sale. Radio Shack. Tech TV Tuesday. Explore the cutting edge of cool stuff. Starting at 8.30, check out today's breakthrough new products on Fresh Gear. And a nice little voice. Turn right. Tells me where to go. Then, meet ordinary people with extraordinary ideas on Invent This. This is the McLean wheel, and that's after my name. Followed by international crime and surveillance on Spy School. Innovations, inventors, and espionage. You'll see it all. Tuesday starting at 8.30 Eastern on Tech TV. Welcome back. Today we're highlighting everything you know to get started with your home videos, editing, shooting, everything. You know, don't forget though, if you miss anything we covered on the show today, you can always pick up the steps online at thescreensavers.com. I think they'd know that by now. And we, we like to check. Yeah, to remind you, without the information in this next segment, you won't get very far in your home video process. Yeah. Having the right video camera, definitely key. Key. Tech TV's Andrew Hahn showed off his three top picks. <laughs> so what's going on here? We got the three cameras. We got the Canon ZR60. We've got uh, we've got a Sony camera, we've got a Canon camera, and this is just getting too weird. There's Jesse in the background. What do you think? Tell me about the cameras. All right, so this is my camera, the ZR60. Right. It's kind of the low end on this whole thing. I bought it. It was four hundred four hundred fifty dollars. It's Which, about four hundred now. Mini DV. That was that's, nothing this summer for a mini so DV cheap. camera. I mean, it's really cheap. I'm really cheap. There you go. Well, I mean, you, I, you just had a kid. I did. I have no money. I, what I wanted was video, and that's what this does mm -hmm. pretty well. Not great, but pretty well. I didn't want still imaging. I didn't want anything else. I just right. wanted video. does a good job of that, but when I looked at some newer cameras, I, could, you know, I review these cameras all the time, I, I thought to myself, man, I, maybe I missed some stuff. Okay. So got them in, took a look at them. Let's go through them. What's the next one up for right. Sony? Let me just show this one. Something uh, strange is going I on. I don't know what's there. going on over there. <laughs> Second camera up. Second from Sony. camera. This is the Sony TRV33, mm -hmm. and I really like this camera. I like its size. It's really cool. It's very small. Um, and the thing is, is that it's got better video quality than the ZR60. Right. And uh, you know, the, the basically the ZR60 has a lower pixel count, and I really now that I look at the video, I think I want a higher pixel ca pixel count. This one has it. The, the uh, ZR60 has 340,000 mm -hmm. uh, lines of resolution. This has 690. So, and you can really see it. Now, so you're difference. saying it's not just, it's, you know, I would think that it's NTSC video, it all gets yeah. squished down in the NTSC format at some point. You know, it does, but it does a better job of separating the pixels a little bit, separating the colors. Okay. It, you know, the CCD does, a, does all the image gathering, so right. it really needs to be higher resolution if you did get it to the, to the tape. And, you know, it does a better job. You can actually see it, especially on plasmas like this. Cameras like the TRV-19 and the TRV-22, they look exactly the same, but right. you, like, if you were schooling me with earlier this week, or last week, they they have a much lower pixel count. They have a. Uh... Sorry, let me turn this off. <laughs> when cameras <laughs> explode on the next screensaver, but they're actually, along with being less expensive, they have much cheaper CCDs. Yeah, they do, and they're they're smaller too. I mean, the sm mm -hmm. this one has, I think, a, a sixth of an inch C CCD. The TRV33 has a little bit bigger, about a mm -hmm. fifth or, or almost a quarter inch size CCD. Does a larger CCD necessarily mean a better no, it, video quality? No, it doesn't, but what you really want is you really want the detail there. Sometimes mm -hmm. the larger ones, generally, they have more pixels, and that's right. what you're really looking for if you can get it. Um, and they just do a better job. Separating those colors is important, especially when you're zooming or, mm -hmm. you know, moving the camera a lot. So, and I do a lot of that because they're so small. Yeah, and you got to follow the baby around the room. I, I got to follow Sebastian. We got right. something, it's a definite price leaps. We've gone from around 400 bucks to around 800 bucks to 1300 bucks for the Canon Optura. Yeah, the Canon Optura, I mean, this is, this is a great camera in a right. lot of ways. You know, it has a 1.2, almost, almost 1.3 million pixel count for the CCD. It really makes a difference. I think it does in, in video. I mean, you're not going to be able to see, actually, I can't get them both to go, but you're not going to be able to see necessarily 
here with right. the plasma because by the time it gets through the plasma yeah, screen right. and it gets through the television Don't, camera, any difference is going to be lost. Yeah, but I've looked at it on a, about an eight thousand dollar plasma. You can definitely see the difference. And as people buy LCDs and uh, plasmas and whatever, they're mm -hmm. going to really be like, well, I bought a four hundred dollar DV cam. I have this plasma. It looks right. terrible. I don't want to show my family this. Stuff. So it's kind of like the difference between a cheap digital camera and an expensive digital camera. That's right. You, most people can actually see the difference. Yeah, but for thirteen hundred dollars, there's some drawbacks to this. It's mm -hmm. a little bit complicated to use. The back of the camera has these little these little dials. There's right. actually three dials there. Just so hard to use it. And the other thing is, it's really hard to hold steady. I mean, as I was trying to shoot with this, I shot a lot of hours of video with it, really had to hold it with both hands. I mean... It gets a little complicated. It's a little bit complicated, hard to hold, so small. You know? For just two, three, four hundred dollars more, you can probably get a Sony TRV 950 or a Canon GL1, a three CCD camera. Once you get up over a thousand dollars, is it worth finding the extra cash to get a three CCD camera? I, I absolutely think so. I would buy a GL2 right. or something like that, just because I simply think that there's better cameras. They have three CCDs. It's beautiful. I mean, it's it's just something that I think, you know, people really ought to ought to spend more money if they can. Right. Here's some quick video here. Uh, let me go back a little bit. Um, you know, I mean, it's not gorgeous video on a plasma, but at home on your regular TV, it's, it's going to look, look beautiful. Really good. It's going to look really, really, really nice. Something you notice about all these is any of them could definitely use the help of a tripod. They're so light that makes them really hard to hold steady. Absolutely. I bought a tripod for $14, nice. and it, re it really helps out. I mean. You can sort of hold your arm, your elbow, whatever, but I think buying a, a tripod, pretty much any cost tripod, right. will do just fine. Wonders over your hand yeah. holding it up. So much better. Now, so much the, the, the TRV-33, the, the Canon Optura, they also claim to do still photography. Is it, should you just spend the money for a still camera? Yeah. I mean, the, so here's the deal with the Optura. Mm -hmm. It's a two megapixel CCD for, for still imaging. It does a pretty good job. That's actually this one right here. It does a good job. This is a nice looking It's not a bad looking ten. picture. Yeah, it isn't bad at all. I, you know what? I, but the thing is, I have a great three megapixel uh, still camera. It cost mm -hmm. me 250 bucks. I love it. Right. I just take it along with me, and I get much better shots. I take them much more quickly. It's so if you're easy. shopping for video cameras, shop for the video. Any still quality you get as a bonus, don't pay extra for it. Right. I, that's exactly my, my advice. I mean, if I had $1,300 and I was going on a trip to, you know, Southeast Asia or uh -huh. something, and I couldn't bring anything else along, just one thing, I might buy this Optura. Right. But... You know, I'd much rather have better video if I'm going to spend that much money. Overall, your pick out of this trio? I think it's probably the the, uh, the Sony TRV33, just because it's got. The other thing about it is it had a little bit better battery life than the Optura with the standard battery it it's came a big with. Plus. That's a big plus, and the video looks great. I mean, you know, I have a I don't have a plasma at home, right. okay? So maybe I will one day, but for now, it's a good enough quality video. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Andrew Hahn. Go check out his complete breakdown of these cameras at thescreensavers.com. Tons of good information. Still much more ahead. Once you shoot your videos, you're going to want to edit them, right? Make them look good, make them look professional. We're going to take a look back at the top picks for video editing software. And up next, go from a newbie okay. to shooting like a pro with a few easy tips right after this quick commercial okay. break. Stay here. We're on. So when the light is right behind you, I need to manually expose. I look like I'm in heaven. The holidays are gateways, so give the box. Inside, find the season's hottest gifts. For a limited time, get a stylish 13-inch LCD TV for an unbelievable price, less than $300. Or get America's best-selling plasma TV. Our ultra-thin 42-inch is priced below $2,500 after purchase of Walmart kit and mail-in rebates. So hurry in. Give the box. In the war on terror, how will you choose to fight? Official Xbox Magazine says 9.1 out of 10. Editor's Choice Award. Brilliant game. You picked the wrong person to mug, punk. Stuff Magazine says 5 out of 5 stars. State of the art gaming. In the war on terror, wage war as you choose. Invisible War, a Deus Ex game. In stores December 3rd. Rated M for Mature. Xbox, it's good to play together. Customers expect a website that delivers instant results, like Progressive.com. Buy car insurance instantly from the site rated number one seven times in a row. Visit Progressive.com. 
Know a Dish Network customer who's hard to shop for? Make it easy by giving holiday gift certificates. They're easy to buy, and the Dish Network customers on your shopping list are taken care of. The gift certificates are so easy to buy, and my friends really love them. The certificates can be used to try new programming, buy pay-per-view movies and events, and much more. Give the gift of entertainment and technology this holiday season with holiday gift certificates from Dish Network. Call 1-800-333-DISH now. Rock and roll all night with Kiss Symphony, a live four in concert, playing on Dish On Demand pay-per-view all month long. See them like you've never seen them before, performing their hits with a Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. And included with the pay-per-view is your very own Kiss Symphony DVD shipped directly to you. Order Kiss Symphony Alive 4 in concert, playing on Dish On Demand pay-per-view. series that looks at ordinary people with extraordinary ideas, gadgets, gizmos, and crazy inventions that could change your life. You thought the light bulb was revolutionary. Well, wait till you see what we've got. Invent this, tonight at 9, 8 central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Screensavers. This is the place to be for our home video crash course. Mm -hmm. We're all guilty yeah. of either zooming in too fast or, you know, hold, holding the camera unsteadily. It doesn't have to be that bad. Filmmaker Yoav Potash stopped by the studio to give us some tips on how to turn your poor camera technique into a masterpiece. Well, maybe not a masterpiece, but at least you'll learn how to shoot better video. Watch. Yeah. yeah. Right now, we're going to show people how to shoot without making your audience nauseous. And we've all seen that video where you go, I We have, we have. All right, so this is a big, heavy camera, but it doesn't matter what the camera is, right? That, that's right. This is a, this is a that's sort a of a prosumer yeah. yeah. type of camera, yeah. but really the way I'm going to be using it today, it's just the same as any camcorder you'd have at home. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tips. So let's see if we can get through all of them. Let's start. Tip number one, avoid ugly backgrounds. Okay. Yes. How would I, so I would be the ugly background here. <laughs> That's the problem I'm in the foreground. Well, so what's an ugly background? All right, so a lot of times people just, they're not thinking about what's behind their subject. Right. So they're thinking, well, okay, I've got him in the shot. Right. Doesn't matter that there's a teleprompter behind you, yeah, right, that's that ugly. we could see. Right. In, in our case today, that would be ugly. Another, or something sticking out of my head. Yeah, a tree lamp, growing out yeah, of the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. that's so, not so, so good. So think about the shot, just like you would with a still shot, you have to compose it a little bit. All right. That's right. Now, it says make a clear choice on what you're shooting. What do you mean there? Well, a lot of times amateurs will not be sure about let me just go here to our studio audience this. if that's I okay can i yeah, do that go ahead. Yeah, all right yeah. here we go so They've sometimes i'm zooming in now now here's this wonderful She's little so girl cute. in the audience yeah but sometimes people aren't really they can't decide <laughs> sure. am i shooting the little girl maybe not oh yeah kind of sort of but not really that drives you crazy but so i do that you got to make your choice i do that yo because you're shooting you don't know what's going to happen and all of a sudden something good is happening over there and you, you, so you go, whoa, or you pan in, you go zoop, like that. And, it, and so zoom in, zoom in, not pan in, zoom in. That's right. Pan yeah. is left, right. So that's zoom rule number is three. in, out, and then tilt is up, down. You don't like zooming. That's the you? proper lingo. Pan Zooming's zoom. not so good, okay? The, uh, uh, I just did it. Go Shame ahead. on me. Let's see it. Let, let's do it again. If you want to, let's, let's do it the right way. Okay, if you tripod. really want to zoom, right. you need a tripod. Because you can't zoom when you're handheld? We, because if you zoom when you're handheld, let's do it again it's here. It's too shaky. A lovely, that... a lovely oh, yeah. little girl. See, it's, that All makes right. you, that makes see how crazy. it's hard to stay still, yeah. especially if you're a little nervous. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the wind's blowing. Okay, so what you need to do the director is just get your tripod. The director immediately got that shot, by the way. He said, I can't take it. <laughs> I'm not subjecting our audience to that. And then you've got a much steadier shot. Oh, yeah, that's great. And she is just so cute. Would you say anybody has a camcorder should have a tripod? Yes, definitely. And do you have to have a fancy, expensive one I'd say one like if this? they don't have a, a tripod, they should be arrested. Okay. <laughs> so rule number one maybe should have been get a tripod. Then they have all sizes. They have little table tripods. They have big ones. Is one enough, or do you have to have a variety? Or... Uh, one, one is enough. This is not even a fancy tripod. This is like right. a $60 okay. Velbon. It's very light. I use it all the time because it's just easy to take all over the place I've with me. I've seen those monopods, too. I see guys with that. It's just one leg, and it yeah. kind of gives, just gives you a little more steadiness. You like that, too? Is that okay? Yeah, a lot of people who are real mobile right. like those because they're even lighter, quicker, easier. It's like a walking quicker, stick, and you easier. run around, and then you put it down, and you shoot. That's yeah. right. You yeah. could maybe double. Okay, so let's see. Avoid ugly backgrounds. Make a clear choice on what you're shooting. Walk. Don't zoom. That's right. And uh, mention the tripod and the monopod. 
Let's talk about manual versus automatic exposure. Okay. Well, that's a... Well, I always use the automatic. Automatic works for you most of the time. The yeah. problem is, I don't know if we can demo this one, but when you've got a bright background, if, right. if you're in front of a white wall... Well, just take a picture of me with the, uh, with the, light the lights behind, behind you. I think you'll right. see that that's going to be pretty bad. Okay. Well, let's see here. Here we go. Okay. Back. We're on. So when the light is right behind you, I need to manually expose... I look like I'm in heaven. <laughs> oh, the hills see? are alive. <laughs> So, but that's, that's good for an effect, but it's not something you want all that's the time. That's right. I need to tell the camera that I don't, Cause don't it, want... It's exposing for the light, not my face. Exactly. So the automatic exposure is going to be dumb in this case. And you, that's you have right. To, so that's right. on most cameras, can you switch it off? I mean... Yeah. 